This is a, the uh, Egyptian, blue Egyptian concentrate from part one that I'm doing. And I'm going to be adding some small amount of baking, a baking soda, sodium carbonate. Screw it, I don't need to neutralize the baking soda, really. The pH of free, it's fine. It just needs to be poured carefully into the... Uh it's a little acidic. If you want, you can neutralize it with... Uh with baking soda, but I'm not going to do that for now. A lot of it just sits, it sits in the, in the, it's heating heat up for a few days and, and, and I let it sit in the fridge for a week or so. And that's why it's, it's getting that color. See, it's, it's the pigments, it's absorbed the flour and that, and you get this lovely red color. If you add baking soda to it or, or that, it would make change color. But I, I don't mind, mind it a little bit acidic. pH is only four. It's not that harmful. Again, thanks for watching. This is a 2%. It has 1.1% epoxomorphine in there. So 250 milliliters would give you about a hundred milli, about fifth, hundred milligrams of stuff, and you'd have to cut that in half. Thanks for watching.